People vandalized and looted businesses and stores in the days after the death of George Floyd. And now police are looking for those suspects. In some cases, they were even caught on camera. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco is live tonight. And even with the photos, police still need help identifying the suspects. Marius, they certainly do. Now, during the first few days of those protests, we saw some people eventually looting stores in Raleigh and down in Fayetteville. Well, it turns out some of those stores captured it all on camera. And now Crime Stoppers needs help identifying more than 100 people. Fayetteville Crime Stoppers releasing 114 photos of people suspected of looting the Walmart on Skybo Road. Surveillance cameras capturing a crowd of people dashing into the store after the peaceful protests for George Floyd turned violent. Crime Stoppers putting out a plea on Facebook asking the public to help put names to all of these faces. Take a good look at this man wearing a white shirt on top of his head and with his hands full of what appear to be video games or DVDs. Cameras capturing this woman in a white t-shirt and black shorts, pulling a large TV toward the door. This woman in magenta pants carrying a stand-up fan. Take a look at this photo, a man in a black hoodie standing in an aisle, merchandise scattered on the floor, and these three people smiling as as it's all happening. The FBI says it's teaming up with police departments across the country to comb through evidence and track down people involved in rioting. We're soliciting tips, leads, and video evidence of criminal activities through our National Threat Operations Center. Now, the FBI here in North Carolina tells me agents will only investigate if there was damage to a federal property. So this case involving the Walmart, they did not assist in. However, the historic market house in Fayetteville, they did assist in that investigation. In the meantime, if you recognize any of those 100 plus faces that we just showed you in that story, you are asked to report any anonymous tips to Fayetteville Crime Stoppers. Live in Raleigh, Mackenzie Stafford. CBS 17 News.